Hey everybody, welcome to Question of the Week for Weekend Confirmed. My name is Garnet Lee, and if you want to get to our Question of the Week forum, that's on Facebook, or you can ask us questions on Twitter at Weekend Confirmed. This week's question comes from at Hussein84, and he says, Do you think the idea of a second analog attachment for the 3DS is a double-edged sword, or as Kanata would say, a double-edged coin, and will affect Nintendo negatively, showing that the device is incomplete and will make consumers turn to other competitors for a complete experience? Well, I don't know how much longer the get out of jail free card works for Nintendo, but I think that they've shown that they always have this ability with their consumers to basically put out whatever device they have at the time. People accept it, they buy it, they move on. We just saw the August sales figures for, this, for the price drop on the 3DS, and I think that more than anything that showed us that the big impediment to them selling that device wasn't as much the design or even the software as we thought it might have been, it was the price. Obviously the price came down, sales skyrocketed. Now it'll be really interesting to see what happens in the coming months as to whether or not they can maintain that or if it just reflected this pent up demand from people who wanted a 3DS but said, you know what, I want one but I don't want it $250 bad, I want it like a hundred and something dollars bad. So how much does it show then that they have to come back and do this side stick? Well, Let's not overlook how big of a deal just Monster Hunter is in the Japanese domestic market. I think that they must have looked at the Vita and its potential uh, impact with a good Monster Hunter coming up there just to eat into their handheld sales in Japan alone. And they said, okay, we need to take that on full face. We need to have a competing product that we can go up straight against that. It's such a big franchise in Japan that it is it is a franchise where people will go buy a separate add-on for their device just to play that game. So I guess the answer is, no, I really don't think that it's going to change things that dramatically. I still don't think the, the 3DS in, in and of itself at this point is a final product. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what they do with a the redesign. I don't know that for these types of games and the way they position that product that it needs a second thumbstick like the Vita does. The Vita, obviously being the PSP successor, had to have that second stick, had to have that ability to play those sorts of games that are so important to PlayStation franchises. Are those as important to Nintendo? I think that's a question everyone would have to ask and look at the sort of stuff they do and say, mm, I don't know if they have to have that because once they start competing head to head, then you'll really notice that delta between the Vita and the 3DS. And that's not a situation they want to get into. Well, thanks for your questions. And we will look forward to talking to you. Well, you'll talk to me in three weeks. I'm going to be over in Tokyo for TGS coverage. We will have a special two-part weekend confirmed next week. And then uh, I'm, I'm out. I'm taking a vacation for a week. Thanks very much for joining us. We'll talk to you soon.